I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to import multiple files using SharePoint Designer. I have uh, an empty document library here, which I'll go ahead and open in SharePoint Designer. To open a SharePoint site in SharePoint Designer, you of course need to have the actual URL to the site, not the URL to the page, but just to the site. And then you start SharePoint Designer. If you haven't already installed that, which I have, and you can find it, let's go back to Internet Explorer here under the little cogwheel and Office 365 settings. And then under software, and finally under the, the tools and add-ins that will show you how to, that will let, lead you through the installation wizard of SharePoint Designer 2013. Now I have it open and I'll go ahead and open a site and paste in the URL that I just copied. Notice that you have just the URL to the site, not any actual page or view on that site. I'll open that now. And in a few seconds, I'll have that open in SharePoint Designer 2013. And there I'll find my document libraries under the view There we go, to find my document uh, and libraries in order to, to find my, to find my libraries, I can go in here on the lists and libraries and find all the document libraries. So uh, the one called uh, documents is in here. And but to actually see the files inside this document library though, you need to go down here into all files and find the document library. The one with the title documents, as you see, is actually called, has the name shared documents. Uh, so when you go in there, you see all the files. There are no files now, just the forms library where all your, um, sorry, the forms folder where all your views will be stored. So you can actually go in and see those views also there. Uh, back now, uh, I, can, uh, I can show you the import files here. There you can add individual files. And you can of course control click to select multiple files like that. Or you can just add an entire folder. So I'll just select the entire documents folder there. And you'll notice that it adds all the files and the sub um, folders and the, the files within those subfolders too. So you can import a lot there. So uh, I'll just click start there and now it starts importing these files. That will of course take a while, but uh, I think you have the, I think you have understood the gist of this demonstration and know how to import files using SharePoint Designer 2013. Let's just go back and no, uh, notice that the files will start uploading here. Let's see, there are the documents. my documents folder and here are the files starting to appear. Of course in general I'm against uh, folders in SharePoint but in some cases it, they might be beneficial. So um, that shows you how to install and how to upload them. Thank you for watching this demo.